asks from a sister, and she says, what are the conditions under which a wife can ask for a divorce according to Sharia? So marriage is a sacred bond between a man and a woman. It's not between a man and a man. Indefinitely, it's not between a, a woman and a woman. This is a natural thing. It's a religious thing in all religions that it's between a man and a woman. And this bond is tied with the name of Allah and according to the Sharia. And therefore, to dissolve it, that would be a heinous crime unless there's a just a legitimate reason and justification for that. And this is why when Harut and Marut, the angels, were sent to test the people and they told them, do not learn from us because if you learn from us, we teach you black magic and that would take you out of the fold of Islam. We are a test from Allah. Don't learn from us. The devils learn from them, as mentioned in verse 102, chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah. They learn from them what they separate between a man and his woman. And this shows you how bad black magic is to the extent that Allah mentioned one of the negative consequences of it is that it separates between a man and his wife. Therefore, the Prophet said, والسلام, any woman who asks for divorce without a legitimate reason would not enter paradise. And that is a serious threat. So a woman cannot just simply because she's on her menses or she doesn't feel good and she says, I don't want to. Talijni, divorce me. This is not valid. And this is a heinous major sin unless there are justifications, legitimate reasons in Islam. What are they? In short, if there is harm on the woman, then she can ask for divorce. What kind of harm? Real harm. If the man is a psycho, he refuses her to leave the house. He refuses her, uh, her to speak to anyone on the phone. She doesn't watch anything uh, um, halal, not use the internet. And he is keeping her, her as a prisoner of war. This is totally haram. This is real harm. And she can ask for divorce. If he prevents her from seeing her parents and relatives, she can ask for divorce. If he is having rage fits and he has bad moral conduct, he's abusive, his words are really hurtful. He always criticizes her, makes fun of her, looks in her cooking and abuses her and curses her and swears at her. She can ask for divorce. If he is really ugly and she's unable to look at his face, that is in the hadith of Thabit ibn Qais, where his wife could not look at him. And she said, had I not feared Allah, I would have spit it in his face whenever I look at him because of his ugliness. This is a legitimate reason. If she feels from herself that she's unable to give him his rights, whether in intimacy or obedience, and that would make her a renegade and would take her out of the fold of being a loyal, obedient, submissive wife, that is a major sin. So in order to avoid such sin, she goes for divorce. This is permissible. If he's impotent or is unable to fulfill and satisfy her in terms of intimacy, if he does not provide for her financially <clears throat> and he is using her as a sugar daddy, and she is the one who works and provides for the house. Very legitimate reasons for divorce and so on. But if she asks for divorce for no reason, I don't like him. He doesn't take me to uh, uh, Côte d'Azur. 
every year. He doesn't change the furniture every six months. He, um, I, I just have doubts that he has a haram relationship. Uh, no proof, but it's just my gut feeling. No, this is totally prohibited and so on.